So what I'm going to do now is cook some chicken breasts in the Instant Pot. It is so easy to cook chicken breasts and then have them for the rest of the week, to use them in chicken salad, to use them for sandwiches. It's just a good thing to do on a Sunday afternoon. Now, I just read a story in the New York Times that said the best thing you can do when you cook any kind of meat, no matter how you cook it, is to put some mayonnaise on it. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna brush some mayonnaise, but what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna throw, I've got about a cup of mayonnaise here, some, some chopped up garlic, I'm throwing in some very fresh, nice dill weed. And I just squeezed the juice of one lemon. So I'm gonna make basically kind of an aioli sauce to just uh, brush on this chicken. And I'm gonna save some of it so that we can have it on the chicken after it's cooked. So anyway, there's that. I'm gonna put some of this aioli sauce into a separate dish so that when I'm brushing it on the chicken breasts, before I poach them, um, I'm not gonna contaminate the brush that I'm gonna use so that I can use this sauce later. I'll put it over, over there. So what I'm gonna do now is um, saute two chicken breasts. I'm gonna get my Instant Pot nice and hot and then I'm gonna put some hot oil in it and saute these chicken breasts. I always like to heat up the Instant Pot on using the saute function before I put the oil in. Get the pan um, hot and then you put the oil in. And let the oil heat up. I'm using just uh, extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm going to brush these two chicken breasts. These are skinless um, bone-in chicken breasts, but you could use bone boneless as well. I'm just brushing that with some of that aioli sauce while the while the oil gets hot. And once you've gotten this brush all covered with that chicken stuff, you need to make sure you just put it away and don't use it again for anything else until it's it's been washed. So there's that. A little garlic on there. And I'm going to pop this right in here and saute these for about five minutes. Ooh, nice and bubbly. About three minutes aside, then I'll flip that. Okay, about three minutes in, I'm gonna flip that chicken and let it go for about three more minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna take the chicken out of here after browning it a little bit and putting it on a plate, a clean plate. And now I'm going to take a little bit of chicken broth, about a cup, and pour it in there and deglaze the bottom of that pan. Let that simmer for just a second to get all that flavor off the bottom there. Okay, and to keep this really simple, pour a little more broth in there. Turn off the Instant Pot. Put my trivet in that came with my Instant Pot and put the chicken back in on top of that trivet. And then making sure that I have my, my rubber ring all fastened in there like it's supposed to be, I am now going to set the top to sealing and set my pressure cooker for six minutes. Okay, and if you have a pressure cooker that doesn't have high um, mode on it, just do it to set it to manual. So six minutes and then we're going to do a, a, a quick release on that. Okay, so my, um, th my chicken should be done cooking. I just flipped this from sealing to venting, and it'll be just a minute before all that steam vents out of there. And I'm gonna check to make sure that the chicken is cooked using my trusty meat thermometer, make sure that it's 165 degrees. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take the chicken out of here and I'm just gonna test with my meat thermometer. And if it's not cooked thoroughly enough, I'm gonna pop it back in for a few more minutes. And I want it to be 165 degrees, but it looks like it's more like 100 and 30. So I'm popping it back in there. And I'm just, there's plenty of liquid in there. And I'm just gonna cook it for, uh, do the pressure cooking for about five more, another additional five more minutes. Okay, so that's been another five minutes on the chicken. Let's vent that. I'm pretty sure that that's done. So what I'd recommend is 10 minutes on the chicken. Um, just to be on the safe side, we will definitely check it, but I'm sure it's done. It's ready to open up. I would just say be really careful with chicken that you don't use the same dirty utensils twice. And Oh, that's wonderful. That's definitely, that's a 167, 169. We're good to go. Okay, so I'm taking this out. And make sure that it's cooked thoroughly. And now what I'm going to do is just drizzle a little bit of this aioli sauce on that. And I'm going to be cooking some risotto to go with this. And that will be supper with some grilled asparagus.